the main thing I want you to take from this video is that there's this theory out there called Colbert's Theory of Moral Development, which is just the official sort of academic way of describing what I just described to you in the last video, which is that when we think about morals or ethics, we can really think about it as this continuum, the spectrum, where it's real self-oriented on one side, or a person's real self-oriented on one side, or they're real or other-oriented on the other side. And uh, Kohlberg sort of articulated that in a slightly different way, a slightly more confusing way. But uh, if you're ever talking with anybody about ethics or morals, being able to drop Kohlberg's theory of moral development into the conversation <laughs> is always something that makes you sound a little bit more superior and, and intelligent. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so here's uh, the basic layout of Kohlberg's theory of moral development where you know it's real self-orientation down at this end and it's real other orientation or more other oriented up at this end. And so the self-orientation would be like, oh, I'm not doing something because I wanna avoid punishment. I'm only thinking of myself. I would do it if I uh, could get away with it, but I might get punished, so I'm not gonna do it. That's a real low level of moral ethical behavior. Uh, Self-interest also down here, right? So, uh, you know, avoiding, you know, I'm only, I'm only doing things because I'm, I'm only thinking of myself. And then up here, there's more social interest. Let's look at what some other slides say about uh, Kohlberg's theory of moral development. So here, down here, punishment avoidance or getting what you want, right? Uh, Self-interest, like a trade-off, right? Uh, meeting the expectations of others. Oh, I'm doing this because how do people think of me, right? Uh, again, these are all what's in it for me kind of ways of thinking. Uh, fulfilling duties and upholding laws. So now we're, we're thinking a little bit more social contract kind of, well, these are the laws and these are my duties as a father or these are my duties as a citizen. Uh, you know, so I'm just going to do what the other people say I should do, right? So now I'm just sort of following the rules, the structure that's been put into place. I'm abiding by rules. I'm not really creating my own rules. I'm acting in a good way. And, you know, here are the social constructs for whatever civilization I live in. These are the rules and laws. And I'm going to abide by them. But it's not like I really kind of thought about what's the right thing to do and why is it the right thing to do, right? So uh, it's not as high of a level of moral, ethical decision making as that. I'm just sort of going along with what other people have told me is the right thing to do. Do you see the difference? All right. So, uh, and here is, uh, again, you know, sense of democracy social, right? So we're thinking more of the social contract. Well, this one is a, a little bit beyond just thinking of the rules, but thinking about, well, you know, if everybody was to act in their own self-interest, then we'd have chaos. And so I'm going to do what's best for all of us collectively. So a lot more sort of social, uh, social orientation. And here, uh, you know, self-selection of universal principles. You are thinking about what is the right thing to do and why is it the right thing to do? And that will ultimately lead you to thinking about others and like the golden rule, do unto others as you want done unto yourself, but even beyond the golden rule, right? And um, yeah, and so, you know, you'll come up with your own reasons for why you should be acting the way you should be acting. So here's a little bit more explanation because Colbert's theory of moral development, like I said, it's just a little bit more confusing to wrap your head around. It's like, oh, what? But really what he's saying is like, I'm really only thinking of myself or I'm really thinking of others. That's that's the spectrum. So this is actually flipped. If I had created this chart and I didn't, I just found it on Google Images. But if I would created it, I would have put uh, the lower levels at the bottom because naturally, you know, bottom and the higher ones at the top. So this is a uh, this is the low level up here at the top. It just they just kind of flipped it when they put this together. Uh, so obedience, punishment, and again, the thing that's interesting here is it shows sort of the moral development as we go through our life and get older and mature. So when we're infants, preschool, school age, teens, adulthood, uh, according to this slide, <laughs> wherever it comes from, it's saying that, you know, you should move through these stages. So, uh, you know, there's no difference between doing the right thing and the wrong thing. You just kind of do what you do the one thing that avoids punishment. Uh, interest shift toward, towards rewards rather than punishment. Uh, effort is made to secure greatest benefit for oneself. So that's that level. The good boy, good girl level. Er, effort is made to secure approval and maintain friendly relations with others. Right? Like a lot of my behavior is still right here. <laughs> you know, like what do people think of me? And uh, I want to have good relationships with my, you know, friends, colleagues, whatever. So I'm going to act in certain ways. Orientation toward fixed rules, right? So the laws, uh, the purpose of morality is maintaining social order. 
uh, interpersonal accord is expanded to include the entire society. So here, these lower ones right here, right, avoiding punishment, map to the triangle there. And this one, self-interest, maps to there. Good girl, good boy attitude maps to there. This one, law and order, maps to there, right? Uh, and then mutual benefit, reciprocity, morally right and legally right are not always the same. Utilitarian rules that make life better for everyone. So thinking about democracy, social contract, those map right there. And then here, morality is based upon principles that transcend mutual benefit, right? So uh, principles that transcend mutual benefit. So there'll be times where you do something or don't do something at your own expense because your principles transcend, you know, um, uh, you know, your principles transcend uh, just only thinking of yourself. You're thinking of others. Yeah. So, so that's Kohlberg's theory of moral, moral development.